In this video, we're going to talk about some of the new features that came out as part of the Power BI's June 2022 feature update, including the new table shortcuts, data marts, and the new data hub experience. All of that and more. So without further ado, let's get started. Hi, my name is Fanan and welcome to the Solutions Abroad YouTube channel, where we cover tips tricks and best practices when working with Power BI. I upload new videos every week, so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when a new one is out. So let's start this update video by talking about the new format pane, which is now in general availability. This feature has been in preview for a couple of months, and I think this delay has been warranted because it's given us a few months to transition to the new format. This also gave the team a bit more time to polish it, which I'm happy to say I'm pretty much used to the new format pane now, just in time for this going into GA. There were a few extra updates that they added to the new format pane. I'll put it up on the screen right here. Error bar formatting options have been simplified to make it easier to find properties. It looks like they decreased subcards and the marker option have been moved into the bar and band cards. Sensitivity labels are now inherited by Power BI reports that connect to those datasets that has it applied. So if you're using shared datasets and connecting reports to it, when you download that report from the service, it will maintain the classification applied to the dataset you're connecting to. Several enhancements have been added to the table visual, which I think has been long overdue. Table performance has been improved. There are new keyboard shortcuts that have been added, a new left indicator that shows the selected rows, outlines to make selecting rows more noticeable and darker themes, conditional formatting icons have been updated as well, and the ability to associate images with alternative text to describe them for low vision users. Canvas Zoom is a feature that they added last month which allowed you to zoom into Power BI reports in the Power BI desktop. Now you can do the same thing in Power BI in Teams and Quick Create. So to zoom in, you simply hold the control, then scroll in your mouse wheel, or you use the options on the bottom right corner. Just note though that the zoom level is only for you and doesn't get saved with the report. You can now create composite models against SQL Server Analysis Services. So a composite model is the ability to connect to multiple data sources, both direct query and import modes at the same time. I believe this feature has been available for a while, but it only worked for Azure Analysis Service models. So now it's also available for SQL Server Analysis Services tabular models as well. To be completely honest, I covered this feature a while back when it was in preview, but I don't have a use for it at work, so I don't really use it. But if you're interested in this, it should be available as part of this month's release. You can now connect Data Mart within Power BI Desktop. If you don't know much about data marts, I covered it in a video recently and compared it to other solutions out there like data flows and shared data sets. But to give you a short recap, think of having the full Power BI experience, transforming your data, creating columns and measures, all within Power BI service, which allows not just Power BI reports to tap into it, but also other reporting tools. This leads me to this new announcement that they've made called the Data Hub, which is essentially a central location to discover data items within the Power BI service. So think as a report consumer or creator, if you ever wanted to get or analyze insights, you can first check the data hub to check if there are any data sets already created which you can tap into. This helps ensure you don't repeat work already done for you. It makes it easier for your colleagues to discover new data and ensures data that they use are trustworthy or have been certified. You can now set starting points when you embed Power BI reports into PowerPoint. This one is another new feature that was released that allows you to embed live reports into PowerPoint slides. So instead of pasting a static version of your reports, you can have the full Power BI experience on PowerPoint. Now you can improve the way you tell your stories by setting starting points. So first you need to go to the Power BI report you want to embed, 
filter your pages to exactly what you need to tell the story to. Then you can go to export, then embed live data. It will generate a link which if you use to embed into PowerPoint, it will show the report including any filters you've selected. There are a few updates to the goals in Power BI which has now been rebranded as Power BI metrics. You can now add milestones which allows you to track incremental progress towards your goals. You can set multiple milestones and add dates to them so you can track your progress. You can see the milestones you've set from your details pane to check how you're doing against it. You can now choose categorical metrics, not just numeric values in your metrics. I think this adds great flexibility with how you can use metrics as you're not limited to just using numerical goals. You can now also bulk update metrics, which makes managing multiple metrics a lot easier. And that's really it for this video. So as usual, I didn't cover everything that was released in this month's uh, feature summary, only the ones that interested me. I'll leave a link in the description box below to the full blog post so you can read it in full if you wanted to. Thanks again for watching. As usual, give this video a like if you found it useful. Give it a dislike if you didn't so I know to do better for next time. Ask your questions in the comment section box below so I can help you and you can help others. If you really like this video, we have a Patreon page where you can support the channel and get exclusive perks like early access, demo files, and credits at the end of these videos. Thanks again for watching and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.